Z Bird, welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. In the last episode, we 100% completed Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, and now, for the third and final time, we'll be going through this game and be getting all of the skill points. After this, there really isn't anything more to do, so technically this probably will be the last episode of the series. I'm sad to say, we've had so much fun trekking through all of the different Spyro games, but it all ends here, unless they add more content in the future, which we can only hope, and maybe we'll talk about throughout today's episode. But yeah, let us move over if we press triangle you can see we can see all the skill points and there is a decent chunk i have gotten but a lot more that i haven't gotten so we still have uh four on this page and four so we got eight in total so we first got to run back to the sunny villa and skateboard course record one is our first goal so i guess we need to set some kind of record with the skateboard course let's hope we can get it because <laughs> i don't know i'm not very good with the skateboards <laughs> Wait, what? Did he just drop some gems? Why are the enemies dropping gems? What's with that? He didn't drop gems. Why did that guy drop two gems? <laughs> I'm already at 117%, now I have 402 out of 400. What? Why did only he drop some gems there? That was weird. Uh, is there any other enemies? Now I'm really curious, I gotta see. Maybe we could get this dude? Are any of these guys dropping gems? No, it was just him. Odd. I don't know what's with that, why we now have a 400 second gem on this level, but hey, that's fine with me. Let's go ahead and try to find, I think the skateboarding area is up this way, correct? Uh, maybe I'm wrong, no, no, I think it's this one. So we'll get to it and we'll see what ends up happening. Hi, Hunter. So I think we do need to challenge him. You can go for the course record now if you want. Whenever you hop on a skateboard, a timer will start. Score as many points as you can until the timer expires or you wipe out. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, so now whenever we hop on a skateboard, there is a timer, but what is the record? I have no clue, so we'll just have to go for it? It's just some arbitrary number we have no hope of knowing? All right, Um. well, that one didn't, ow, oh, darn it, I forgot I had to turn around. Go quickly, go quickly. So we'll just keep going until this timer runs out. I gotta say, I really love the skateboard idea. I do think it works better in, you know, this sort of trick format than it does a, um, there's no jumps over here, so this is a bit of a problem. Probably should just stick to the half pipe then. Um, oh gosh, come on Spyro. Just trying to do some front flips there, didn't really work. But um, I do think it works better here in the trick freestyle format than it does in racing. But honestly, they try it again. <laughs> They do try it again in Ratchet and Clank, of course, which is the game they made in the PlayStation 2 era, Insomniac did. So, so you can't, you just like can't do front flips. I'm not really getting too much of a score because of that, and I can't do any front flips here. Come on, ready, set, go! It's not letting me do front flips anymore. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Um, there we go. All right. Ow! Really? Oh gosh, I need to get over to a skateboard fast. What is the best score? I don't know. There we go, oh no. Oh, that still counted! Okay, cool, I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, Ready, jump, do a couple of backflips. It still doesn't let me, it's weird. Um, Got it. You just don't get too many points for tricks you've already done, you know? So I'm trying to, you know, mix this up a little bit, but it's not easy to. So we're just gonna go over this way and I'm gonna make a big jump off of here. Don't land in the corner again. Awesome, I didn't. So now I'm only getting 12 points for that. Like, that's not very much. Come on, go, 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 go. And then flip like crazy. Ah, oh, did I crash? Oh, he didn't crash, nice. All right, and we're out of time. Was that the record? Oh, the course record is 3,200, so I got a skill point acquired. I should probably read the skill points I have done. Um, also in Sunny Villa, there's all of the trees, which we did our first time through. In the Molten Crater now, we're gonna be assembling Tiki Heads. All right. Um, I thought we had already done that with Sergeant Bird, but maybe there's more to do. Huh, okay. So yeah, I'll I have to take a look around here for the Tiki Heads. Like, assemble Tiki Heads. Like, what does that really mean? Because I, I know there's a Sergeant Bird mission where you gotta do that, but that's obviously the mission, is to assemble the Tiki Heads. Why would you get a skill point for that? Maybe there are some Tiki Heads out in the overworld that I don't remember? Or maybe there's a way to get Sergeant Bird out here and there's some stuff you just wouldn't normally be able to find. I don't think that's the case, so. 
Uh, we'll look around though for sure. Oh, dude, come on. I'll look around as much as I can and see what I can end up figuring out. Thought it was gonna be something with all these pink tulips just hanging out, but no, it has nothing to do with that. Unless there's the second uh, molten crater level, but I don't think there is. So I'll keep looking for some tiki heads. So the only thing I can imagine it is, because I looked around, there's no tiki heads on the outside of this level. Maybe what I gotta do is go and get all five tiki heads and assemble them as in putting them all together in like one area. Maybe they can stack onto each other. So I'm just gonna go over this way and grab our first one. And I know there's already one at the very beginning, so maybe if I just bring them all to that location, something will happen. <laughs> It'd be cool if it makes like one mega tiki or something. That'd be an interesting little secret to put in there. Um, so there we go, I dropped that one. And I know that there's another one up this way. I have to dodge some birds, but that's not too big of a deal. Okay, we're good, we're good. Turn back around. That's it, that's it. So this is tiki head number two. Uh, there we go, press square to drop it. And then number three should be in here. So let's get to it. Come on now. Okay, so far so good. And we just gotta quickly get in there, grab it and go. Awesome, whoa, watch it. Two cans right behind me. Ow, did it? No, he made me drop it. Oh, you stinker, I didn't even see that one. Practically a part of the wall. I mean, obviously it is a part of the wall, but like blends in with the wall. Somehow we keep a full health here, even if I get damaged. I mean, maybe because I did all the sparse things, I don't take any damage anymore. I'm not actually really sure. I mean, sometimes, gosh darn it, uh, Zoe would say things when we finish the sparks levels, and sometimes she just wouldn't. Oh, no, no, I've taken damage. Never mind. Um, he just takes an extra hit. I know he does that much. That's not what I wanted to do. Did that just fall off? It didn't. So we have four Tiki Heads. We're looking for the fifth one now, which I think we did that one up there. I've gone, oh, here we go. It's in here, isn't it? Um. Pretty sure it is. No, that's the egg. I've already found this. You already have this egg. Never mind. All right, um, moving back. Oh, you know what? Well, it's not up here, is it? I thought I just went to this one. Uh, no, I haven't. I have not. There it is. Okay, grabbing that. Turning around as much as I can. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're in the clear. We're in the clear. So let's assemble all five tiki heads like this. Uh, oh, there it goes. Oh, they're very excited. Skill point acquired. They're just dancing around. Okay, so now that we've done that, looks like our next thing was going to be supercharged wall in the molten crater. We already did that. Um, and then there's a seashell shore. Catch the funky chicken, which we already did. And then finally on icy peak, I say finally, but finally the one we can do, the icy peak, glide to the pedestal. So let's head over to the icy peak, which is in here. Midday Gardens and try to find that pedestal. So I've looked in a couple places now. I'm all, I'm also checking around in the uh, portals and stuff. And why I am is because, you know, pedestal is like a really vague term. Like, is it a pillar? Is it something? I don't know. So like, we'll look around. I'll see what I can find. Cause I know we can, I mean, I'm trying to find out like where there might be a ramp where I can build up speed and stuff. Hmm. Um. Cause you know, I usually just cut out every time I'm looking for things. So like I've looked for other things, I just sort of cut it out. Uh, so that you might not even be hearing me right now. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> I love how fast they both spin. Oh, 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 well this is really simple. Well, there it is, right? Wait, was this not it? Glide to the pedestal. Seems like a pedestal to me. Unless this is only step one. Where could there be a pedestal? But like, what would you define as a pedestal? I don't know. Oh, maybe that. Ooh, let's try it. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> ah, I missed it! <laughs> Darn it, I was so thin, it's hard to tell. Oh no. But I might be able to get that more than one way. I shouldn't have done it that way. Okay, now I'm just wasting lives. I don't know if that actually counts as live wasted though. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it does. So what I could do, I could try from here. Um. Oh, come on, seriously game? Oh, you sneaky little, ah. Okay, Let, let's try this again. Let's see, I'm gonna hit the ceiling this time. There it is, you don't even need that. So I was overdoing it. Hey, very cool though, we got that one done, which means our next skill point is going to be Enchanted Towers Skateboard Course Record 2. Oh boy, so let's make our way over that way. All right, here we are. 
So I can just grab a skateboard and, okay, the timer won't start until I talk to him, I think. So let me crash. There we go. And let's talk to you. Hello, wait. Hello. I think you're ready to try some one-on-one. -on -one. Want to try a freestyle competition for points? Uh, sure. All right. Whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. All right then. So I don't know what the record is for this one, but we'll be trying our best, especially with this big jump to start with. We can start with absolutely not what I wanted. <laughs> I was trying to uh, get started with a good couple of flips. So oh, I won't let me. What the heck? I'm trying to press jump here. Ready? Jump. Oh my gosh, maybe it's about pressing nothing? Do I press nothing there? Because right now he is going to be destroying me. Come on, give me a skateboard back. This is not a good start. Give up. Can I give up and try again? Well, Let's right. go. Maybe I just don't press any button and that's when I launch. I can't remember to be honest with you. I guess so. Ooh, you're gonna bet you better bet I'm gonna land a bunch of them. Wow, that was a lot of points to start off with. Excellent stuff. We're already at 5,500 points, how cool is that? All right then, there we go. Got one extra in there. Ah, oh, no, I was gonna get a triple spin right there. Didn't quite work. Okay, quickly, I need to get a skateboard here. Ooh, right here, all right then. There we go. Try to like, you know, transition them back and forth in a way. So let's jump off of this. That was pretty good. Already right, 7,000 points. If we go down this way, there should be a pretty sweet jump we can do. Ready for it, ready for it. Oh boy, here we go. There it is. A couple thousand more points for us. Okay, keep going though, keep going. We ain't quite done yet. Got it. Oh, okay, for a second I thought I was gonna fall there. As you can see though, we're not getting many points anymore because we've been doing too many. So I'm gonna run up here super fast. We are dominating Hunter's score, which is great. Go for it, we still have 44 seconds, so we've been doing a lot of, oh yeah, I forget that we can roll, and that's sort of different. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. All right then, so I'm gonna do a couple rolls this way. Oh ho ho ho, all right, sweet. Go this way now, and the front flips are still doing next to no points, which is weird, because it's like there's only a couple different tricks I can do here, you know? Unless there's like more in-depth tricks I just, I'm not even aware of, but I think we're good. I think we're A-OK. -okay. So I can like do a couple of backflips, see how many points they get me. Ow, yeah, that was a crash. <laughs> okay, ready, set. That's what I'm looking for. And how do we do? I believe it. How did you get so good already? Who knows, maybe someday you'll even break my course record. Hmm, <laughs> nah. Anyway, I guess. I mean, I already have this like, yeah, I wanted to do the, the record. What are you talking about, did that not count? Oh, come on, did I get the skill point or not? Of course I didn't. Let's try it again. You can go for the course record now if you. Yes, I do. Um, you can go for the course record now. All right, well, let's try it then. So I don't start in, as, in an as advantageous point. But I'll do what I can with this and see how things end up going. I don't know what the record is until I try, but you know what, I think we can kick that record's butt. There we go, there's a good couple points already. I'm gonna fly up this way, I say fly. I mean slowly glide. And then we're gonna do some crazy rolling. You ready for it? Rolling, rolling, rolling. There it is, beautiful score right now. Um, I think we can definitely get some of this in there. Ah, but I over-rotated. Dang. All right, quickly, quickly, quickly. Do a couple of backflips for good measure. Good couple little points there. Um, turn around real fast. Nice, okay, got a couple hundred more points that way. I'm gonna do a crazy amount, I think backflips are what I need to do now. So we'll try those out. Ready, and go. There it is, beautiful stuff. All right, all right, and then that was pretty good. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> that was all right, I guess. Let me try doing like a bunch of spins to the right. Not bad, not bad, a couple hundred more points that way. I don't think I've sp sp spun 
out to the right as much. I did land before I fell, so that's good. Um, let me get the skateboard one more time then. See if I can't do a couple more front flips over here. That's it. Those are triple front flips, so I got me a good couple hundred points. And then roll a bunch to the right for our last couple of seconds here before I hit the ground. Four, three, two, whoa, come on, wrong thing. Darn, oh well, that's it. But what was our score? It was 15,000 over 10,000. Very cool, skill point acquired. Awesome stuff. What is our next one? It's gonna be Spooky Swamp, destroy all the piranha signs. So let's get over there then and figure things out. All right, so all these piranha signs like this one we need to destroy. So best thing to do here is just to run throughout the environment, probably along the water as much as possible. Can only imagine that that's where the most of the signs are going to be. So, you know, take out any enemies that might be in our way as well. Got it, got it, and got it, there you go. That's sign number two. I don't know how many signs there's going to be, but we'll try to keep count. Ah, I didn't even see you. You got a very large nose, <laughs> like a mosquito. There we go, got three right there. Can you guys get out of here, thank you. So three signs so far. Uh, and here is sign number four. And then I also, oh gosh, that, oh, the water didn't hurt me. Well, I mean, I guess the Prime Plants go for you. There's sign number five, ow! Oh, you rude dude, get. Thank you. Get this guy right here. So we have five signs now. I do see a sign number six, just hanging out over here. And I think there's a bad guy over this way. There he is, he's trying to hit me with a slingshot. So yeah, we're, we're at six signs now. And I'm good to get this. Very nice. Oh gosh, come on, come on. There it is. Sign number seven. How many are there in total? I'm gonna guess it's 10. Cause this is sort of like a nice even number. Oh no, oh, come on, <laughs> that was bad. I don't know, I'm not seeing many more. Huh, I mean, there's a little bit more left to explore, so I shouldn't give up just yet. Okay, this is sign number eight, and that's all of them, so there's eight in total. Very cool, so there's another skill point done. Now it's Sergeant Bird's base, bomb the gophers. I don't remember there being gophers, so we'll have to find those dudes. So, so far I don't see any gophers in this level. We'll have to look around for them though, because so, I, I think that from here we would go up this way. What is happening? Okay, that was weird. Um, Come on, up this way. You got it. I mean, I don't know what's with the camera right now. Get this guy before he can throw that plan at me. Bust this door open. I see you down that way. Got him. And you. And not you, <laughs> you're, you're a friend. And I think there's one last one down that way, perfect. I, I did see, well, was there something over here? For like a second, that was weird. Um. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I do see a little hole over this way. Go ahead and get that. Well, this, is there gonna be a gopher popping up? Oh, bust that door open as well. I don't see a gopher. Oh. What, Sup. now I'm here? Why Why did it teleport me? That was, that was weird. Sup. Okay, 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 we, we know. Maybe I need to complete the level again? That'd be weird as well. Oh, there's a gopher. All right, let's get this little dude. Got him, but not everything. It does say gophers, so there might be more than one around the level. All right, well then we'll, oh, right here, right here. I swear these gophers weren't here before. There's another one then. Can we go through, or can we not yet? Oh, you know what, we need to put the little anvil, ow, on the thing. Oh, there was another gopher, darn it. Okay, so now I know, now I know. That there's gonna be more than one per area. Okay, lady, watch it. Ow, jeez Louise. Okay, no, we got you, we got you. So I'll have to watch for that one gopher. I hope it's not like a, you know, like a Groundhog's Day kind of thing where if you scare the gopher away, it just doesn't come back. Ow. Oh my gosh, I don't know, I'm not very good at <laughs> Sergeant Bird, gotta be honest. Oh no, he's back, he's back, that's good. So I'm gonna put this right there. I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna take you down. Got him. Okay, so moving back over this way. Yeah, I, I remember this level, I couldn't get these birds because I thought I had to shoot the cage. I just have to walk in front of it. Okay, where is this one? 
Yeah, you just have, all you have to do is go in front of it and then it opens. Even though I feel like that's like a non-video game thing to do. But like, you know, it's like, oh, there's something in the cage. Explode the cage, you know? But that's probably my own thought still. Okay, go for number four. Oh, he's gone. Okay, let's clear out all this action then. While he is out of here so that maybe he will be more willing to come back out. I mean, he usually has a little birthday hat, which is cute. But wherever those gopher holes are, of course, that's where we really gotta pay attention to what could be around. Well, watch it. Oh, and there's another gopher hole here. So, going back over, he's still not around. Could be the ladybug. Let me get rid of that. So I know I need to come back here. In the meantime, I could, oh, get rid of this gopher. Ow, come on, got him. So, don't you dare hit me. Why are the controls so baloney sometimes? All I wanna do is this. Oh, oh, just barely dodged it. That gopher's still not back. I mean, maybe I accidentally got him, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. So that's really concerning, maybe they go away. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> hmm. What other gophers could be around? Ow, these guys are the worst. They have really good aim. Oh, I see this gopher right here. Got him, okay. And any other gopher holes around here? Not looking like it, but we're not quite done. And we gotta go, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I see you. No, not you, not him. All right, fine. Oh my gosh, come on. How baloney is that? I know you're gonna throw your silly flower pots at me. Oh, come on. Bombard him, there it is. Got that dude. What more could there be? Could there really be a gopher down this way? We'll search for it, we'll find out. I'm pretty sure there wouldn't be. Only one way to really know. I hope I didn't like miss my chance and have to replay the whole level. Cause that'd make this like the worst skill point. There's definitely no gopher holes around here. So, let me head back. And... Excuse me, pardon me, oh boy. It's like first person now all of a sudden, because of the camera. Come on, come on. So that one gopher that hit away, I hope he's back now, because if not, I have no idea how to get him out. I mean, there may be a way. Maybe I just need the bum. Oh, I see him. Perfect, he has to be the last one. All right. Hit him. He was not the last one. Where could the last gopher be? I'm gonna keep backtracking until I figure it out. Oh, I see him up there, okay. I guess I forgot that there was stuff up this way. And come on, get him, get him, get him. No, come on. There it is, right? Skill point acquired, 39 lives in total. Very cool, so our next one would have been Frozen Altar's Beat Yeti, Beat Yeti in two rounds, which I thought that's what you were supposed to do anyways. And then we have Lost Fleet, skateboard record time. Oh no. Well, we'll try it, we'll see what ends up happening. Okay, so I guess we just need to race it. I tried to talk to Hunter and he didn't really do anything. He just talked about winning a popularity contest, which absolutely is not too true because Spyro is incredibly popular. But let us keep moving through all this and see what kind of good time we might be able to get. Luckily, I feel like my skateboarding skills have at least improved since I've last tried this. So hopefully we can put them to the test and see what ends up happening. All right. Yeah, I can get one more in there, perfect. And then I can jump across here, get this excellent speed boost, and then get another one, and another one, very nice. And then ignore tricking here. Uh, tricking over here is a big no-no, because it just doesn't work. And then we can get over this way, just like that. Now, I might have a bit of a problem making this jump, because I don't know, the game loves me. Come on, we're doing so well to start off with. There we go, do some little tricks there. I don't know how we got so much speed boost out of nowhere. And I guess it's sort of just like a pity thing. Oh, no way! No way! How did I mess that one up? Come on. That's it, that's better. Do a couple more. And then go for it. It definitely doesn't take as much tricking to fill up the meter as in that final area, the little bonus area in the last episode. Okay, keep going, keep going, don't stop. We're at 40 lives though, that's good. Finally hit that. So we're still uh, racing here in our third and final lap. Perfect. Okay, that might be enough speed boost just to make my way through a good chunk of this without too much of an issue. 
two, and three, and we're good. And with this, I can definitely get across to here, get this speed boost, keep moving, and we are good. Was that the record time? No, I was seven seconds off. So if I didn't fall, I would have been fine. So I will try to trick a couple times here, just because I don't have too much speed yet. Perfect. Okay, so this time I feel like we've gotten a good start. And that is pretty important to make an, oh, come on, never mind. Ah, I really don't like racing with the skateboard in this game. It's just, it feels like the controls aren't made for it. Okay, so we're on the final stretch here. I think we'll be okay as long as I don't do anything really ridiculous, and we made it. It's 137, very cool, skill point acquired, which means we are all done with this page, we already were. Um, so that we did the skateboard record time. Firework factory, find Agent Nine's power up. Okay, well that'll be interesting. It has to be somewhere in the Agent Nine mission then, right? Huh, weird, I, I explored that area very thoroughly to not be able to find something odd. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking far and wide, like up and down, like I don't know if there'll be anything in the ceiling or on the walls, anything that looks peculiar to me, I'll be trying to shoot at because honestly, I thought I had thoroughly explored this level to begin with. Let me get rid of all these guys. And that's sort of the big pain is that you never know, right? Like, it could be anywhere and I also have to refight all of the enemies. Here. Let's get rid of this thing so it's not bothering me as much. And that should make it much easier to get rid of everybody else. Oh, we're already down to 75 health, that's not good. And then let me explore this room some more. Nothing there, and, oh, okay, luckily it was early on. Boop, maybe this is it. I don't see what else this would be. Skill point acquired! What is this, the golden weapon? Whoa, look at this thing. Oh, and it's like rapid fire and everything. Oh, that is super duper cool. Let us use up all the ammo for this right now. Just be super duper wasteful. Yeah, destroy that ninja box. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and spend all that time blasting this away. Definitely will last you though. Okay, so what's our next skill point? It is going to be Charmed Ridge, the impossible tower. Don't exactly know what that means, so I'm gonna have to look around a little bit. So I've really been looking around and I feel like I don't know, maybe I could get up there and maybe that'll lead to a tower or something? Because I know there wasn't any way we could seemingly get up there. Beyond that, if these two things, you know, like this right here and then maybe that one, because I don't remember ever getting over there. Maybe that is something. I don't know how I would get there, and that's what maybe makes it impossible. Maybe the skill point wasn't meant to be gotten. Because I definitely can't glide from here. But you know, I could, oh gosh, get up there, which I guess, ow, I forgot about the chess piece. <laughs> I guess the best way to get over there would be to, okay, come on, get up here quick, get up here quick, go, and I'm good. Get these guys out of the way. Where's that little thing again? It was right here. Hmm, just trying to think it through. I guess, like, you know, if we if we can get back on that tower, it was sort of always a pain to get to, but I can do that. I can glide across to here, perfect. I might be, I mean, I could not maybe make it from here as well. Oh yeah, I can. Look at that, skill point acquired, 42 lives. What about anything else around here? Uh, well, there was also Charmed Ridge, shoot the temple windows, I guess we already did that. Bentley's outpost, push box off the cliff. I did that, I don't even think I meant to. Desert ruins, destroy all seaweed. So, if we take a look at, uh, what was it, desert ruins, destroy all seaweed? Okay, I'll go ahead and get to it. Oh, it's this level. Okay, well, I'll look around for some seaweed then. And this isn't the level where we go under the water though, so at least that eliminates a fair amount. But there is still a lot going on in this level and I haven't found any seaweed so far. I feel like this is another level that reminds me of Ratchet and Clank. A lot of people have been asking you, like, you know, do you think that uh, Ratchet and Clank will be the next game to be remade? I don't know, I mean, that's sort of the weird thing right now is that we got sort of what we asked for with Crash and Spyro, now Crash Team Racing. That was sort of what everybody was asking for when it comes to the Activision-owned properties. You know, when it comes to Ratchet and Clank or Jack and X or any other PlayStation properties, they were never owned by Activision or Universal. It was really only Spyro and Crash. So, um, when it comes to those respective teams, which was Toys for Bob for um, Spyro Reignited, have we ever gone in there? What is that room? I don't remember that room but I also might have accessed it from a different angle, so it looks unfamiliar. Anyways, I don't see any seaweed. <laughs> Maybe we can go, or you know what, is this a level with the submarine? 
It may be, gosh darn it. Oh, I hate this jump. Ah, uh, okay, I made it, I made it. It may be the level of the submarine I have to go in there. Oh, don't you dare, oh, you stinker. But yeah, because of that, I, I wanted to talk about this at some point, and I guess now's a good time while I make way there. Um, if you don't know, each of the remasters, the Crash Remastered, the Spyro Remastered, and now the Crash Team Racing Demaster, or Demastered, Remastered, are all being made by different teams. Uh, Crash, I believe, was made by Vicarious Visions, um, who actually made like Crash, Wrath of Cortex, and some other uh, Crash games, like on the PlayStation 2 and stuff. And Toys for Bob, which of course are most popular for doing Skylanders, made the Reignited trilogy. So it makes me think, what have uh, Vicarious Visions been up to during the time that Spyro Reignited has been being made? And what will Toys for Bob be doing now? I mean, probably porting Spyro. I think that's probably what they're working on right now because they did confirm that Spyro will be coming to different consoles and stuff. So it is sort of a matter of questioning. I wonder what those two are up to now. Maybe they're moving on to their own projects. Maybe Toys for Bob is gonna work on Skylanders again, even though it doesn't look likely. I knew I know a new Skylanders like mobile game just came out not too long ago, but beyond that, it seems like Skylanders is a little bit said and done, unfortunately. Where is this one portal? I know there's one around here. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong though. I'm usually wrong, so I mean, I know we just passed the Sheila one, but like, I don't really need that one very much. I'm almost positive there's no point where we can go into this water, so I guess I'll just keep looking around. Sooner or later, I'll figure out where the seaweed stuff is. All right, I think I found it. It was down here. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and do this. This is the underwater section, and somewhere around here is going to be some seaweed. I mean, it looks like there's seaweed everywhere. Uh, How do I destroy it? Destroy all seaweed. I might just be able to slam right into, oh, like this right here. I think this is a reused, well, never mind, that didn't work. Maybe I could just ride the manta ray and that'll do it. You can ride there. You Have bet. Fun. All right, so I'm gonna use this to destroy some stuff, some seaweed around here. So we got that one right there. Here is another one. I mean, this is glowing, so it shouldn't be too bad to pick out. The only thing is it's rather thin, so I might, hide behind certain pillars and stuff if I'm not super attentive, so I'm trying to be. Boom, got it. That was like three, maybe four of them. That's, well, maybe that was the fifth one right there. Got it. And I think, yep, I do see another one hiding right on the other side of the pillar. Where else could there be more? I'm sure there's more on the top of things as well. I'm just trying to scan the floor at the moment. Now that I've done that, let's take to the not so skies. Hmm. Oh wait, wait, did I just pass one? Oh, that was just Hunter. Oh, here we go, here we go. And that was the last one, skill point acquired. Okay, that was actually easy enough once I figured out what to do. So with that one, we gotta move to the haunted tomb. Swim into the dark hole. That doesn't sound fun. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do this. Hold on. I know, I, I, I guess I unlocked the uh, art gallery for that one. Don't care, right now we gotta go and swim into the dark hole of the tomb. And then we only have one more after that. Awesome stuff. Ugh, it's this level again. So once again, the skill point was swim into the dark hole. So we first need to find something where we can swim. So I'll look around for that a little bit. Oh, is it, is it seriously right here? <laughs> Difficult level, easy skill point maybe? Yes. Wow. All right then, so there's that skill point as you can see. And now we just have Agent Nine's lab blow up all palm trees. I didn't do any of that. So definitely I need to work on the palm trees. Gotcha. So it looks like I can't just simply attack them. Uh, likely it's going to be, I wanna have to go get the grenades later in the level and go through everything and explode it. But I guess I gotta play the level itself first. So let me blast through all of that. That's sort of weird that I had to replay the level though. Okay, so I'm finally here. I'm gonna work on throwing these grenades around. You can throw them really far. And that missed all of them. Okay, so, but yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and just try to destroy everybody so that we can make sure we get in every area and check to see where the palm trees are because I'm pretty sure you need these grenades to get to them. So, from over this way, oh, I hate this arc. Doesn't really work too well. Got him, got him, and got him. So are there any palm trees around here? Not looking like it. Had to check though. Thank all right, yada yada, I know. We already have this egg, see ya. We got all the eggs, don't you worry. So any palm trees around this area, I don't think they mean these ones. I'll, I'll try them, but I'm pretty sure they mean the big fat palm trees that are just on the floor randomly. So I'll try this out and I will throw this up here. If I even can, I can't throw it that high. Yeah, it's definitely not those then. It's definitely the palm trees you find on the floor. 
So what about in this area, huh? There are definitely palm trees in there. So I need to toss this over just like that. And then when we're over here, I toss a palm tree, or t I toss a grenade to that palm tree. There it is, that one. And that seems to be all of them in this area. Just go ahead and grab a refill and hope that there's no more than 10 more palm trees. Obviously there's no palm trees in here, but it's good to check. You know, it's a giant rock, you never know. Okay, so now we just gotta run back basically to the beginning of the level, which this level isn't that long, to be honest with you. It just sort of, sort of a lot to do within it. You just gotta be careful. And this one for sure, that's a palm tree, all right. Got it. Palm tree number whatever it is, <laughs> don't know. Okay, now this area should have the last couple of them, so that's pretty cool. So not like that, but like this, and like that, and like this. And there you go, skill point acquired, which means we have gotten all of the skill points. How cool is that? So let's finally take a look at the gallery for Spyro Year of the Dragon. As you can see, we have the Sheila Concept Art and the Agent Nine, who's looking a little bit more wild than he currently is. Who would have thought? He has a mohawk and everything. I love the Sheila design there. She's wonderful and adorable. Her claw fingers are a little bit spooky, but beyond that, she's fine. Um, we got Bentley. Which I feel like Bentley's a little bit more burly, like wide. And with uh, Sonic and Bird, I think he looks about the same. I feel like his his chin isn't as strong, but you know, still about the same. Hunter is looking like a rad dude. And there's uh, Bianca, which I'm pretty sure that's basically Bianca. Maybe her ears are a little bit wider, or like longer or something. But yeah, she looks super cool there. Uh, we got the TNT rat, Toucan, Flying Gecko, and the Gator. All looking like they do in the game. Oh man, I love the art. Wish we could get like higher resolution that we could zoom in a bit more, you know? Uh, we got the gunfighter and the TNT dino from the dinosaur town, whatever that was called. That was a pretty cool level. We got the giant chicken, cow with sign, big pig pilot, and crazy Ed. Some of these are from the flying levels. I like it, I like it. Um, over this way, or actually, we got in the bottom. He, he's just uh, like one of the guys you talk to. Uh, we got Princess Amy, Princess Azriel, Cat Wizard, and Cat Witch. Ah, oh, that's wonderful, actually. Hmm, I don't know which one's, or Prince Azriel, gotcha. Because they're they're the ones who fell in love and rode away in the motorcycle. Uh, we got Egyptian Dog, Roman Lions, Rapunzel, and Hummingbird, and Bamboo Terrace Panza. Yeah, okay. Wait, what, where's Rapunzel? I don't see Rapunzel here. I just, I don't know. Um, Frozen Altar Snowman, Flying Beaver, Crystal Bear, Spooky Swamp Mosquito, <laughs> Haunted Tomb Jackal, and Giant Scorpion. I like all of these. I feel like the one that looks the most different is the Haunted Tomb Jackal, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, look at all these baby dragons. Whoa, these are a little bit more, I feel like these are a bit more detailed than what we ended up getting. I mean, obviously we saw some of these, but honestly, some of the color details, you know, like that one on the bottom left, definitely haven't seen something like that. A lot of them, I feel like there were only like four different designs that were palette swapped, like different colors and stuff. And like sometimes it'd have an accessory like a bow or glasses or a hat, but here, this seems a bit more in depth. I wish that we could have gotten maybe more of these. That would have been really cool. Anyways, over here we got Ice Pick, Rhinoc, and Moose. That's pretty cool, I like the Moose. I don't remember the Moose, but he has a no Spyro logo on his sweater. We got the Pyridama and Winged Rhinoc. I love this art, very good. Uh, we have the mel Mallet and Jackhammer Rhinox, Gardener and Flying Rhinox, we did, oh, dealt with them earlier today with the Sergeant Burr level, Spear and Bomb Tossing Rhinox, Tiny Mammoth and Fire Throwing Rhinox, <laughs> okay. Buzz and Chinese Fire Dragon, Buzz is creepy, and Chinese Fire Dragon was really tough to deal with. Oh no, not the crabs and lobsters, the crawdad king, manta ray, and spider queen. These were all of the, uh, what's it called bosses? The bosses for Sparks. We got the sleepy head and Spike. <laughs> yeah, Spike was another boss fight. Uh, we got Scorch and the sorcerers, two more boss fights. Sorcerer is looking very, uh, menacing, and that's all of it. So very, very cool. With that being said, I think that we are basically done for Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, along with it, uh, Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. It has been an absolute blast, and hopefully they do release more content for this game in the future, as I was saying before. I really hope we see more from Toys for Bob. No matter what it is, I would love to see it. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Skill, so any of watched at the end, that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes 
episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.